Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial about aircraft lights and when to use them. We'll start off here in the Boeing 787 Dreamliner to show you the different aircraft lights that this uh, model has. It has some extra lights that normal propeller aircraft as we see around us doesn't normally have. Um, so we'll send you all about these uh, lights here and then uh, give you a practical example of how, when to use them and how to use them. So, let's start up by looking up at our overhead panel here. We'll press 7 here so we can get a good overlook. Or we will first turn on the batteries so we can get some lights on here in our panels. Okay, so the first thing is the beacon lights. You can see that it lights up here and says on. I've just turned it on. The beacon lights is used before you will uh, start the aircraft. The beacon lights is positioned above this uh, this one here and and uh, beneath, um, and it shows you that the aircraft is about to start. So this beacon light should always be on uh, when you are flying the aircraft, or it is positioned underground, and you will first turn it off when you have uh, landed the aircraft again and parked it, and of course shut down the engines. Then you turn it off and you turn the aircraft off. So that is the first one. Let's keep that on for now and see here. The next one is taxi lights. I'll turn it on there. You see the knob right here uh, and left to that is the runway turn off lights uh, and these lights is uh, not in, uh, in small normal propellers this is, uh, I think, they're only in uh, in bigger jets, but uh, I will tell you about that uh, afterwards. So taxi lights uh, you will find in almost every aircraft, and these are used during taxi to and from the runway. So you will turn them on before moving the aircraft um, to indicate to other airplanes that you intend to move. So before requesting a taxi or before uh, you your pushback. Uh, you will turn them on, uh, so as you are in the move, uh, other, other planes can see you and, uh, and know your intention. The taxi lights is positioned, at, and on this aircraft they are positioned here at the left and right wing, and also down in the front, with uh, just above the wheels. This is the normal place to, to place the, uh, the taxi lights, so uh, on a lot of aircraft you will find them here just uh, above the uh, the wheels. Okay, we'll uh, just uh, turn the taxi lights off again. Or, I'm sorry, this uh, the runway turn-off lights is the one that are positioned uh, at the left and right wing here. The uh, taxi lights is uh, down in front here, above the, uh, the, uh, the wheels. Um, so the turn-off lights here at the side is used um, to uh, to yeah illuminate taxiways or obstacles on either side of the aircraft, um, so the pilot will uh, will will see it better, and also the uh, the different signs on the uh, on on the runway, so so you can uh, you, you you will see it better when when taxiing. Um, but yeah, I will use these um, in cooperation with my taxi light, so I have a button set up to that on my. Uh, on my front quadrant here. Okay, next we got the uh, nav lights. You can see it on there. The nav lights here is uh, placed here at the uh, wing tip, um, both uh, at the right and left wing. Here on the right wing you can see it's a green light and on the left wing you will see a red light here. So the nav lights, or navigation lights as they are called, will, uh, will indicate which direction the aircraft is moving in or flying in. Um, so here you can see if we're standing on this side of the aircraft and we can see a red light, we know that the uh, aircraft is going left, or in the left direction. And of course the same technique apply over here, if we are standing on this side of the aircraft we can see a green light. Yeah, we'll know which way the aircraft is going 
again. So they are they are different, uh, so you know which wing they are placed on. Okay, next up is the strobe lights. The strobe lights now is just down here. And the strobe lights will work in cooperation with your nav lights and indicate the end of your wings. You will turn them on at the same time as your landing lights before taking off and, and they should be during they should they should be on during the whole flight. When you have landed and taken an exit of the runway, you will turn them off. And the strobe lights is placed next to your um, nav lights here. You can see the white the little white flashing light also at the other side here. Yes. And then we have to talk about landing lights, of course. Landing lights is here. In this airplane there are um, uh, three of them, but in normal aircraft there will uh, mostly just be one. Your landing lights should always be on when on the runway, so just before entering the runway, before takeoff, and when you are airborne and have made a turn, you will turn them off. Then. You are, if you are in the air and preparing for a landing, you will turn them on before you land. You could turn them on when on approach about 10 miles from the airport. So the landing lights is located also the same place as the runway turnoff lights, but you can see it's a lot brighter than the runway turnoff lights. Um, I can turn them off, but yeah, they are mostly um, located one on each wing of the aircraft. Okay. And in this aircraft you also have a logo light. This is placed down here at the end to show your logo. See that 787? Yeah, and this is uh, not on, on all aircraft. Um, this is only, uh, yeah, I think they're only on the bigger jets. Um, you are not. Um, you do not have to turn these on, but you you can do it while taxiing, <coughs> so people can can see that you're moving better. Of course, you have your taxi lights, but this will uh, this will show how big the uh, aircraft is also, so you get a feeling about that. Yes, and there are also some wing lights here. On with that, they are positioned here at the side, just beneath the door. And this is uh, so the pilot can see down the wing and see if uh, there are icing or such. Um, so this is only, yeah, only for the pilot. Okay, I think I will, uh, I will enter a propeller and make a little flight so you can see uh, the lights in action and uh, get a better feeling of when to use them. Yeah, we have now loaded up in the Beechcraft Bonanza G36. As this is a pretty standard plane regarding to the uh, lights of the aircraft. It has uh, these uh, five lights that uh, most aircraft has. We can just uh, get the aircraft started with the battery here and maybe some lights here. Cabin lights, yeah. And we will see the different lights down here. We have turned on the panel lights as you see. Um, this is the cabin light. And then you have the beacon lights, you have the landing lights, the taxi lights, the nav lights, and the strobe lights. So, in this state we are now, we have turned on the batteries, we will turn on the beacon lights. So, if we take an external look here, turn on the beacon lights, and you can see we got one here at the top of the end here. I think that's the only beacon light you have. Maybe there's one beneath here? No, it's the only one. Okay, so we turn this on before we are going to start the aircraft. So everybody else knows that we are going to start it. Okay, so now let's um, get started here. Let's turn on the different 
Mobs here and our fuel. And let's turn on the propeller. Great. Okay, so we have started here. Fantastic. I'll not ask permission to taxi, I'll just taxi. So I'll now turn on my taxi lights. There you see. The little light here above my wheel. And then get a pushback. And of course, when we are taxiing, we also turn off the nav lights. So, as you see, a green and a red light here. So for now, beacon lights is on, taxi lights is on, and nav lights is on. Nav lights this is, uh, of course, the navigation lights. <laughs> well, but um, yeah, we'll just call them uh, nav lights as everyone else. Okay, so we got a pushback and we will t now taxi out to the runway here. It's a pretty uh, short taxi here, so don't have to watch a lot of taxiing. That's not the most interesting thing to watch. So if we just look over here, we can see the start of the runway already. And then yeah, we will of course find the taxi right here, the asphalt, and I will break here. Oh, not here, but of course over here. Okay, so when you are placed here and stand by, you will of course ask permission to take off, and then you will turn off your taxi lights. You can see it go there. And then you will turn on your landing lights instead. Let's just take a look at sound outside as I'm turning them off. Okay, so on this aircraft the landing lights is placed just uh, behind the propeller. You can see the taxi light was down here and the landing lights is up here. Good, and of course you also have to turn on your strobe lights right there. So, right now I have beacon lights on, as always, landing lights, navigation lights, and strobe lights. Okay, so we will take off. I know there's also some different rules when you're a uh, commercial or just uh, general aviation. But um, I think these are the uh, commercial um, guidelines, so we'll just use them as they overrule the others. But I think normally you don't have to uh, have navigation lights on uh, at the daytime uh, if you are in general aviation, but you have to do it when you are in uh, an, a, a commercial uh, jet, uh, for an example. Okay, so we'll take off here. Just turn off our cabin lights here and lift that. So, of course, we'll take our gear up. Just be a little more gently on the throttle. And we will keep proceeding in line with the runway here. Then we will make a left turn. And I don't think there is any regulations about this, um, but you will of course turn off your landing lights. Um, I do it uh, yeah, about now. Um, yeah, I've done it now. So, other yeah, aircraft don't get confused about us having our landing lights turned on. Um, 
I think we are trying to land right now. But yes, so now as we are airborne and flying our route, uh, we have uh, beacon lights on, navigation lights on, and strobe lights on. And these are the only lights we will use now. So I'll just do a skip to uh, when we are going to land and uh, see which lights we will use there. So here we are, coming in for a landing here at our runway to the left here. And now we will turn on our landing lights. And we do that to indicate that we are about to land. Of course, we'll also get our gear down, get our speed a bit down here. Maybe use some flaps. We will, of course, have done this in some, yeah, in a better preparation. But um, yeah, here we are, and this is just for a showcase about the aircraft lights. So you can see the runway just in front of us. A bit too low, so I'll just give it a little throttle here. So yeah, we have our beacon lights on, landing lights on, navigation lights on, and strobe lights on. And the runway is nicely lit up as well. And the puppy lights is telling us that we are too low here at our left. And uh, I agree, but that's just how it is. Whoa. Okay. That was a landing. Not the best one, but a landing. Slow down here. And when we have an option to turn, we'll do that, of course. Here. Let's just take this exit, although it's not an official one, but we'll just turn off here as a showcase of the lights. So when you get off the uh, ground here, I know I'm going into the grass, but uh, yeah, when you get off the ground and uh, maybe you are asking for a place to park, um, you are asking A to C for a place to park, will turn off the landing lights because you are now off the runway and then of course you will turn on the taxi lights and I forgot you also uh, have to turn off off the strobe lights so will not blend anyone as you are taxiing so the lights you're working with now is beacon lights taxi lights and navigation lights yeah looks great so, you are about to find a place to park here. We can just make a left turn. And park right here. Next to the fine propeller over here. Oh. Don't know what's happening, but my controls doesn't work. Okay, we'll just park here. Um, we'll turn off our taxi lights. And our nav lights. So now the only lights we have are is the beaker lights. So as we clean up the aircraft, I'll just turn on my cabin lights here. I'll take up my flaps and turn off my different knobs here. Parking brake, of course. We'll turn off the propeller. Good. And now we can actually turn off the beaker lights. Off of that. Okay, so we made it. Let's just turn off the rest, the rest one here. Also. Okay, 
So I hope you enjoyed the video and also learned something. Um, it can be a bit confusing for a start, but uh, you'll get used to it. And uh, especially if you have a, a yoke. Uh, I got the honeycomb uh, thrall quadrant as well as the yoke. And they are a great uh, tool to use and uh, learn. Um, there are also uh, the five different knobs here for uh, the, the, the most common lights uh, as we used in this aircraft. So yeah, it's a great experience using this uh, these uh, thrall quadrants and uh, yoke. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.